What's up, my beautiful bros? Beardy Maniac here with another NBA pick video, March 11th. Spread predictions as well. Look out for later on today, after the selection committee makes the brackets for the March Madness. Because there's still some tournaments, to, games to play off today, and seeds to lock up and stuff like that. Look for my March Madness bracket. That's going to be the title of the video. It's going to be... Like, I'm going to fill it in previously. I won't talk about too many matchups, but I'm going to talk about who I look for as a dark horse candidate, who could be upset, odds on favorites, stuff like that. It could be a longer video, but and it could be up very late tonight, so just keep an eye on that. First game today, it's already in progress. It's tied 27-27. Raptors and Knicks. This one should be obvious of who I'm going to pick. Raptors. Knicks suck. Then we have the Bulls at the Hawks. I'm going to pick the Bulls to win and cover this one. Near the Warriors at the Timberwolves. As you can see here, Warriors are favored by 4.5. This matchup, if... Jimmy Butler was healthy. This would be such an intense matchup, especially with no Steph Curry. ABC, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Picking the Warriors on the road to win this one. Near the Jazz at the Pelicans. Let me just check real quick. Make sure see if Anthony Davis is going to play or not. Mm. There's nothing that says he won't play. So... I'm going to roll with it and say the Pelicans win if Anthony Davis plays and pull off the upset because the Utah Jazz are favored by two. Then we have at 5 o'clock Knicks or Kings at the Nuggets. I'm going to pick the Nuggets. They're favored by 12. They should win and cover. Then you have the Rockets at the Mavericks. Rockets favored by 10. They should win and cover as well. Then you have the Pacers at the Celtics. A definitely possible playoff preview. Uh, this could affect seedings very well. If the Celtics lose this one at home... I think I think they fall too far behind the Raptors to catch up, especially with less than especially with about 15 games left. It would be I think I just think it would be too tough. I think the Celtics win and cover the six and a half point spread, trying to keep pace with the Toronto Raptors. Then you have the 76ers at the Nets. 76ers favored by six in this one. They should win and cover. They need or they probably want at least home court advantage in one round. Should be interesting. And then on ESPN at 9 o'clock p.m., 6 p. 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Pacific time, you have the Cavaliers at the Lakers. Lake Cav or Cavaliers favored by 1.5 in this one. BPI has the Cavs at only a 47.8% chance to win. I'm going to go with the Lakers here. I'm not saying it's going to, like, IT is going to go off. Like, he's playing against his old team that disrespected him. He's going to go off. He's going to go crazy. That could actually, if he tries, I think that's going to cost the Lakers and the Cavs will pull off the win. But with the Cavaliers have recently struggled, I'm going to go Lakers here just for the fact I think as, as much as they struggled, I think they have it more together than the Cavaliers. I'm not saying it's better. I think... They, they're like a 80 overall, 90% together, and the Cavs are like a 90 overall, 60% together kind of thing. The Cavaliers are clearly the better team, but for some reason they struggle, and I think that's going to cost them here. Hey anyway guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and like I said, look forward to my March, Mac, March Madness bracket later on tonight. I'll see you then. Peace.